Hello students, under the topic coordinate geometry, this is the next problem. Prove that the points 4, 3, 7, minus 1 and 9, 3 are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. What is an isosceles triangle? An isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two sides of equal length. We all know that a triangle has three sides. Now, if any two sides of that triangle are equal, then the triangle is said to be an isosceles triangle. Now, here three vertices of the triangle are given and they are asking us to prove that these vertices form an isosceles triangle. Now, for example, if we take the triangle with vertices that are given. So, let this vertex, this is not geometrically plotted. So, this is just done handy. So, this vertex is taken as 4, 3 and this vertex is 7, minus 1 and this vertex is 9, 3. And let this be the vertex B and the vertex C. Now, we have to prove that this triangle is an isosceles triangle that any of its two sides are equal. So now how shall we do this? We will be doing this by using the distance formula. So first what we will do, we will find the distance AB and then the distance AC and then the distance BC and we will check whether two of its distances are same. That means two of the sides are same which implies that the given triangle is an isosceles triangle. So let us see that now. Now first let us find the distance AB. The distance AB is given by square root of. Now the coordinates of A are 4, 3 and for B is 7, minus 1. So we can take this as x1, y1, x2, y2. And by the formula we know that. Uh, the distance formula is given by square root of x1 minus x2 the whole squared plus y1 minus y2 the whole squared. Now applying that formula here 4 minus 7 the whole square plus 3 minus of minus 1 that will become plus 1. So 3 plus 1 the whole square and so that is equal to square root of 4 minus 7 is minus 3 the whole squared plus 3 plus 1 is 4 the whole squared and so that is equal to square root of now negative 3 square will be anyway if we square the negative sign it will become positive and the square of 3 is 9 plus 4 squared is 16 which is equal to square root of 25 and so that is equal to 5 units and so therefore we have got the distance a b to be equal to 5 units. Now let us calculate the remaining side. Next we shall calculate BC. Okay. So now let us find the distance between BC. So BC will be equal to square root of. Now this will be x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now what it will be 7 minus 9 the whole squared plus minus 1 minus 3 the whole squared. And so that is equal to square root of now 7 minus 9 is minus 2 the whole squared plus minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 the whole square which is equal to square root of 2 squared is 4 and the negative sign becomes positive because when we square it it, it becomes positive plus again we have a negative sign the square of which will be will become positive and 4 squared is 16 and so that is equal to square root of 20 and so therefore the side BC is equal to square root of 20. Now next the left out side the third side of the triangle is AC so let us find the distance AC. So, AC will be equal to square root of, so AC will be equal to square root of, now here it is, uh, this will be x1 and this will be x2, y1, y2. So, it will be 4 minus 9 the whole square, so 4 minus 9 the whole square plus and what about the y coordinate, it is 3 minus 3 the whole squared. so it is 3 minus 3 the whole squared.
and so that is equal to square root of what is 4 minus 9 it is minus 5 so minus 5 the whole squared plus 3 minus 3 is 0 0 squared is 0 only and so that is equal to square root of now minus 5 square the square of negative sign will become positive and 5 square is 25 what is square root of 25 it is equal to 5 so therefore the distance ac is equal to 5 units so for this triangle to be an isosceles triangle any of the two sides has to be equal so if we check like that the side ab and side ac are equal to one another so in triangle a uh, a b c we have the sides side a b to be equal to a c which proves that the given tri triangle is an isosceles triangle therefore the word uh, the points 4 comma 3 7 comma 1 7 comma minus 1 and 9 comma 3 are the vertices of an isosceles triangle so therefore a b c is an isosceles triangle so we have proved the required result hope you have understood this problem thank you